Okay, this is uh, epoxy resin um, that we've, we've mixed or are mixing at the moment and as you can see uh, it's, it's quite runny. Um, if it was a warmer day and the resin itself was warmer it would be a whole lot less viscous and this is no use to us really for uh, gluing um, joints together because it will just flow straight out again. So what I'm going to do is add colloidal silica to the resin and normally the mix ratio is, is roughly one volume of resin to one volume of colloidal silica um, but it's not critical um, and you mix it or I mix it until I get a consistency that I'm happy with. Okay, so just grab a handful, drop it in, note the dust and the particles coming off and you have to mix it really quite slowly um, and almost fold it in and it, it goes lumpy and horrible to start with but eventually it will start to break down into the resin and then you can start mixing a little bit quicker um, and you can see the paste will start to form. Sometimes you end up with, with quite a lot of bubbles and bubbles of, of colloidal silica in it. Um, generally if you add a bit more colloidal silica those will start to dissipate. Um, for myself that isn't viscous enough, so I'm going to add some more in any case. I guess I'm probably adding almost one and a half to one ratio of colloidal silica to resin. Okay, now it looks worrying that it's gone really thick and horrible, but there's a lot of resin in the bottom of the cup that hasn't been mixed through yet. Okay, and now I'm getting a much more satisfactory paste, not unlike the consistency of butter. And you can see that actually the colloidal silica particles have now started to dissipate through the resin body a whole lot more smoothly. Okay, now this is the consistency that I want for the job that I'm now going to do.